The representative of Algeria has requested the floor to make a statement. I give him the floor. Merci, Madame la Thank you, Madam President. Since we joined the Security Council, we have always tried to be constructive, open, and responsible. That has been the case since the beginning of the negotiations on the draft resolution on MINUSO. And we have worked transparently and in accordance with the rules of procedure. And we have been forced to submit to you these two amendments. Quite simply, because the pen holder decided to impose to impose its own draft resolution and to put it in blue yesterday at 5.30 p.m. Dear colleagues, these two amendments relate to human rights. This is something that we often talk about, perhaps too often around this table. The First Amendment draws its reference scrupulously from the report of the Secretary General. In particular, paragraph 72. And I would like to read it for you here. The Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights has not been able to visit Western Sahara for the ninth consecutive year. Despite multiple official requests and despite Resolution 2703, in which the Security Council urged enhanced cooperation, including through facilitating such visits. You have before you the first proposed amendment by my country. Secondly, the Second Amendment. This is not something we have invented. This is text verbatim from all of the resolutions of this very Council. on peacekeeping operations over the last 20 years and which were all given a component to monitor the human rights situation. In this regard, I wonder as to the risk for our Council of being accused of double standards to the detriment of the people of Western Sahara. Indeed, next month, the coming month, 
we are all going to vote on a text relating to Abye, one concerning Somalia, which provides a human rights component within these missions. Why should Minuso not have that? It is the legitimacy of the Council on the subject of human rights that is in question here. To conclude, Those who have known me for almost a year now know that I am certainly a frank person. I know the pressure that you have been put under here in New York and in your capitals. I know you all personally, and I know how difficult it has been for you within your missions here in New York as a result of those instructions. The fact is by denying the people of Western Sahara the protection the protection that is guaranteed for them under international law because between you and I here it's international law that counts by denying the people of Western Sahara the le international legal protection we will have lost we will have lost a great deal of this council's legitimacy. Thank you, madam. I thank the representative of Algeria for his statement.